So uh, today we'll see the configuration part of how the OpenCart web store owners will be able to display their products on the Google search page in an attractive and a visual manner. As you can see right now, uh, I've searched for the MacBook and uh, the Google product feeds have been displayed here from the various vendors there. So this is just a demonstration how exactly and where your products would then get displayed on the Google search page. So uh, basically, if you're using the OpenCart Google Shopping Feeds plugin, the OpenCart web store owners can create the Google product feed for their store's products and can export the products to the Google Merchant account as well. So you'll have to have a Google account. You'll have to create your Google Merchant uh, account and then we can create the feeds and then we can uh, sync or we can export our uh, OpenCart products into uh, the Google uh, Merchant account there. So uh, the uh, store owners also have uh, the option to map the categories of the OpenCart uh, web store with the Google Shopping Feed categories uh, there as per their own requirement. So in today's video, I'll just be uh, showing you the uh, backend configuration there, how to authenticate the account, uh, then how we can export uh, the products in bulk to the uh, Google Merchant account uh, or the Google Shopping Feeds account there and uh, how we can individually export the products as well and thereafter i'll be showing you how the products get visible on the other end of the google merchant account there so uh, apart from that i'll also be showing you how to generate the credentials uh, that are required for the backend configuration in the last of this particular video so first of all let's hop on to the admin backend panel and uh, let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the username and the password now before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. Now uh, what you need to do is, after the successful installation of this particular plugin, that's the OpenCart Google Shopping Feeds plugin, uh, you'll have to navigate through uh, extensions and then extensions. Then you'll have to choose modules. And here you'll have to select the Google Shopping Feed and tap on the edit button. And that will bring up the configuration settings as you can see here uh, for the Google Shopping Feed. So here we have uh, four different sections. One is the Google Shopping Feed wherein you can enable or disable uh, the particular functionality of this particular plugin. Then you have the configuration settings wherein you need to enter your consumer key and the consumer secret. So I'll be showing you how we can uh, access them and how we can create them. So you'll have to create a new project uh, there and uh, you'll have to create an app as well. So that part I'll be showing you. And for the first time when you come to this particular section, uh, you won't be able to see the export product button, but you'll be able to see the authenticate account uh, button itself. The same goes uh, for the other section. That's uh, the, if I go to the catalog and then products, let me open that in another window so even on the product listing here of the open cut web store uh, here you can see this one uh, button is there for the export of products to the Google shopping feed so this won't be available there now how this would be enabled uh, that's uh, very easy uh, after you get your consumer key and the consumer secret after your app has been cleared by the Google there itself uh, you'll have your consumer key and the consumer secret you need to enter those here and then you need to tap on the authenticate account so after you tapped on the authenticate account a pop-up would appear and here you need to enter your uh, what we say as uh, your registered email address that were using which which you, uh, you have created the Google Shopping Feeds credentials so the Google Shopping Feed credentials that we have created here in the back end here the same email address has to be used for the login so I'll choose that up and uh, we'll enter the password for the same. And then you tap on the next button and this will, auth this will basically authenticate your account and then you'll be able to see your export uh, product button there. So I already had uh, authenticated it but I'm right now again uh, authenticating it one more time. So after entering the password, now you'll have to allow uh, on this particular consent screen and in a second you'll see that you have uh, basically modified your google feed module and we have authenticated the account right now now we'll be able to map the categories and set up the default product settings uh, that would be applicable to 
all of the products in our store for which we don't have set up the uh, particular uh, fields that are available here. So uh, coming to the configuration part, the very first was to enable or disable, then we had to enter the consumer key and the consumer secret, authenticate our account, we have the export button. Now this particular export button, what it does is that uh, it exports all of your open cart uh, web store products uh, to your Google shopping feed account on the Google merchant account there. So if you want to have it in a one go, you can tap here on the export product. Otherwise, if you want to do it as uh, product by product, then you have to navigate through catalog products uh, and on the product page, whichever product you want to export, just select that up and tap on the uh, export product to Google Shopping Feed. So I'll show you that and then we'll see how it appears at the Google Shopping Feed account at the Google Merchant account in a while. But before that, uh, let's go to the other section. Then we have the category mapping section here and here we need to set up the Google feed category and according to that uh, we'll have to uh, set up the rest of the uh, mapping there. So for the Google uh, feed category here we need to choose default category basically uh, or the uh, we, we can set basically the default Google feed category that would be applied when the category is not for mapped for the products. So for example, if we choose it as electronics, then we can choose its uh, subcategory, for example, uh, electronic accessories, and then we can go to the electronic cleaners, for example. So here we have to basically set the default Google feed category, which, which would be applied when the category is not mapped for the products. Then coming to the product settings here, so here the admin can set the default settings uh, which will be applied to the products whose uh, details are not uh, filled and uh, the here you can see we have different uh, product settings like the age group from the drop down you can choose it as adult, infant, kids, newborn or a toddler and uh, according to that uh, the admin can set the default age group for which the product is suitable so uh, the age group can be chosen here for the product then we have the product available for so here you have to set the product availability for the male female and unisex for whichever it's applicable uh, you have to choose the product uh, condition as new refurbished or used then we have the apply tax on ship so here you have a yes or a no option so the, the admin basically needs to choose to set the tax on a product or not, whether you want to apply the tax uh, on the product or not. Then uh, uh, for the apply tax on ship, can you know that tax on ship will only be applicable in the US if it's set to as yes. And uh, then we have the tax rate. Here the admin can set the tax rate under the following entities. Uh, that's the target country, content language, and the product color so you can choose the tax rate for the target country from the drop down here you can choose the content language that you want to set it for uh, then you have the product color you can choose uh, the what we say as uh, uh, set the product uh, option uh, which is to be displayed on the color description of the product basically and uh, thereafter uh, we can tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings so we have gone through the Google Shopping feed, enable or disable option, configuration settings, category mapping settings, and the product settings. You can check the user guide I've, uh, that I've attached in the description of this particular uh, video for, for a much better understanding. So uh, now let me show you how we can export the product. So for that, uh, first of all, what I'll do is, uh, I'll show you how we can do it one by one, and uh, then we'll be showing you how we can do it in uh, in the mass as well using this uh, export uh, product button so first of all i'll be navigating to catalog and products i'll open it in another window and uh, now here what i'll do is i'll just select one product uh, that i want to export to my uh, google merchant account for the google feeds so i've selected that and i'll be tapping here on the export product to google shopping feed button and this would be exported uh, successfully now you can see that it has been uh, exported successfully 
similarly you can do it for any of the other products that are there one by one as well or like you're going for three products at a time choose them up and tap there on this particular button and they'll be exported to your account up there so this was how you can do it one by one then the other thing that we were seeing was uh, on the configuration page was about uh, all of the products at the same time so if i go back to the module section go to the google shopping feed edit it up now i want to export all of the uh, product listing that i have within my open cart store then i'll have to tap here on the export button uh, uh, that we have and this would uh, export all of the products that are there into your google merchant account for the google feeds there i open my google merchant account as you can see and if i go to my product section here we'll be able to find the uh, product that we just uh, exported to our google merchant center so if i tap here on the all products all of the so here's the Amblican can can that we had just uh, exported so you you can see the last update time is April 16 2021 and the time is 1 16 p.m. in the afternoon along with the price uh, the condition as new availability is in stock country or uh, country of sale the language and the other data is all so visible uh, for the particular product so that's how easily you can uh, export the products from your open card store into the google merchants uh, center for your google uh, shopping feeds very easily and uh, that was how we can do it for our single product for all of the products at the same time you can tap here on the export product button and this would start exporting the products into the google merchant account there and then after this uh, process has completed you can you can see that the process has started and the products are being uh, successfully exported and now if i come back here we can basically refresh and check those products being exported here at the very same time as well so the process is still uh, proceeding further for all of the products that are within the open card store so let me set uh, leave it as it is i'll come back to this section so here you can see that all of the products the htc touch and similarly the other products are being synchronized all of the products would then be synchronized here and here you can see that right now its total is uh, 186 products now let me take you back to the uh, configuration there and uh, this would be uh, just uh, processing in the back end and uh, after we have uh, done with everything here we also have one option here that's the google product feed and under that we have two different options one is the category mapping and the other one is the product list so I'll just take you through the category mapping and the product list now so under the category uh, mapping we can map the categories there the open card store categories with the Google feed categories as you can see we've already done with a few of them uh, to map a new category just tap here on the map new category button that brings up this section wherein you can choose your store category and then according to that you can select uh, your other one as well so for example my source category i'll choose it as electronics now i want to map it with the google feed category so i'll just drop down go to electronics select that select its uh, subcategory that's there according to that uh, i'll again do the same and then i'll tap here on the save mapped category and this will save this particular mapping for the electronics with the electronic cleaners at the google feed category or i don't have the access but uh, this is uh, going to be done in the same way and then this would uh, be visible here under the uh, category mapping section under google product feed we have the category mapping and this listing would then be displayed here uh, accordingly you can edit that up as per your own requirement and you can save that as well once again now the other thing that we have is the product list so here's the uh, here are the products that have been uh, exported uh, to the Google Merchant uh, account there. Now you might be thinking how we uh, went out to the Google Merchant Center directly. So if uh, you're coming down to this section after you've exported your products and you want to check whether the products have been exported to the Google Merchant account or not, you'll come to the product list. You can check the Google feed IDs uh, for your particular products that uh, are there. And uh, you can access the Google Merchant account by tapping here on this particular link and that would uh, open the Google Merchant Center. So let's just wait for it to load up. 
So you can see Andy has come up. We are on the overview page. Now uh, you should, uh, all right, now let's go to the product section then. And with that, we'll go to the all products. And here we can find the complete list of products that we have uh, synchronized here from the open cart into the Google Merchant Center. So uh, you can see right now that uh, the complete uh, products have been exported. As I had shown you while we have tapped uh, on the export product uh, button. So yes, that was uh, much about the uh, plugin itself. That's the OpenCart uh, Google Shopping Feed plugin. And I hope it helped you out in understanding uh, the workflow the same. In the second video, I'll be showing you the rest of the procedure of uh, generating the credentials and for the OAuth, uh, how to generate the OAuth credentials there and how we can send our app for the verification uh, to the Google itself uh, before uh, we get the credentials for the same. So yeah, that was much for today's video uh, and uh, thanks for watching it. And uh, apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And uh, lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and uh, have a great day ahead.